I don't know, even that was like a like just getting the ball rolling on mm -hmm. like, okay, you had a list, talk me through a little bit of the process. And then I was like, okay, I don't think I ended up going for any of those people. I don't want to say mm -hmm. where what institution my therapist is a part of I got you. on camera. Yeah, no, no I got you. I got you. Got you. Um, Privacy is key. Right. Yeah. But like, e like, even just like getting the ball rolling and ha having somebody, and for me also being like, uh, I want to do this and also saying it out loud to somebody. Mm -hmm. Like saying it out, being like, she was like, I got to get back in therapy, man. Yeah. Um, made it kind of like real for me in in a way that I think it hadn't been mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. Mental Health Monday. 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 I just let you know. You're, you're letting me know who you are. We're, right. we're here now. So yeah. even like that and being like, okay, well, well, what are my reservations going in? Mm -hmm. Right? It's got to be in person. Yeah. It's got to be in person. Mm -hmm. Figuring out, okay, honestly, there's aspects like I can't have to explain parts of my identity because mm -hmm. then I'm almost like trying to like justify it and then spending so much emotional energy on that and like feeling dealing with the feelings of not being understood that I'm like guess what I spent all my fucking therapy points explaining mm -hmm. to you who I am so yeah. I can't even get into what I've experienced yeah, we did. and yeah, how we I want to change done. yeah right so okay I, I gotta be in person I gotta have a therapist with whom I don't have to explain mm -hmm the really important parts of my identity. And that can be, maybe it means a therapist is still has different aspects of their identity, mm -hmm. right? Often it means you share that part. But yeah. it, it's not a requirement, yeah. right? Like doesn't have to be, I don't know, I've had therapists that I was like, wow, we are different in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And like, I also don't feel that burden of explaining these things that I wish you just got so mm -hmm. I can focus on the important stuff. Yeah. Knowing what I want, knowing I got to have my identity seen and valued, knowing the type of therapy mm -hmm. that works for me and the type that doesn't, knowing how to navigate like the insurance system. Let's talk about that. Yeah. That's, that's a nightmare in sucks. itself. Yeah. yeah. Still sucks. <laughs> yeah. I feel a lot more comfortable with it now. Mm -hmm. But even the way a lot of it works, like, right, like you got to get a... You have to get like you have to have a credit card. You have to put that credit card down. They mm -hmm. put a hold on the card. Then mm -hmm. after your insurance claim goes through, they yeah. reimburse the card. Mm -hmm. a whole mess. I don't know. I mean, I'm. It's just uncomfortable. I know a good amount board. of people without bank accounts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like to much less them, a much less a credit card. To tell them to go get help is like no. Yeah. Yeah. They don't even fit what the system is for getting yeah. help. Yeah. Right, right. So like yeah. there are access problems, and that's <clears> where like having somebody that. And I feel like it changes. I don't have too great of an understanding of this. I'm sure you do. Like, I feel like it changes locally mm -hmm. a good it degree, um, right? So I have a couple of therapists that are uh, certified for D.C., some are certified for Virginia, and others that are certified for Maryland. And they all tell me across the board. Yeah, there's not, like, reciprocity really between great. the DMV. Yeah, no, nah, not at all. And, I mean, the reason for that is HIPAA laws keep everything separate. So during the pandemic... I don't know if you remember, but anybody could have gotten a therapist in any state that they wanted. And then when the pandemic was over, it's like, no, you could now only get a therapist within the state that you live. No way. Yeah, that's what it changed to. So there's certain people who they found their perfect fit, but their therapist is in California and they live in D.C. And now they're like, does that mean I need to pay uh, 35 to 40 percent more rent to get the help that I need and live in a different place that I'm not really comfortable with living in mm -hmm. or do I just me and my demons get real cozy in this one bedroom apartment I opt for the second <laughs> no honestly like if I didn't have somebody to help me navigate yeah the system and like it sucks it shouldn't be this way but like that was actually a big part of like coming to find the one I had now too mm -hmm. I actually think I might have been like two years ago or something. I think I called you. I don't even. I don't remember. It wasn't me. If it you, wasn't me. It was. Have me. you hooked me up with we've, the current we've one? We've had a. We've but had we've, a talk. But even and that, I've like, even folks. even that talk. Uh huh. And I had like. So I remember looking at some of them. Uh, I don't know. Even that was like a like just getting the ball rolling on mm -hmm. like okay you had a list, talk me through a little bit of the process. And then I was like, okay, I don't think I ended up going for any of those people. I don't want to say mm -hmm. where, what institution my therapist is a part of I got on you. camera. Yeah, no, no, I got you. 
<laughs> I got you. Yeah. Um, Privacy is key. Right? Yeah. But like, e like even just like getting the ball rolling and ha having somebody, and for me also being like, uh, I want to do this and also saying it out loud to somebody. Mm -hmm. Like saying it out, being like, Juice, like, I got to get back in therapy, man. Yeah. Um, made it kind of like real for me in in a way that I think it hadn't been mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. When do you think the switch happened from you being forced into therapy? At what age were you forced into therapy and that came to an end? And at what age did you say, okay, I need this, even though I hate this thing? Yeah, right. And like, even, even though I like hate this thing, like, mm -hmm. Like say that I, it sounds like you're saying it like you know like a like a little mm -hmm. a little a little blithely a little pithily, like I I tell my therapist all the time mm -hmm. I'm like like I like I'm so annoyed mm -hmm. by you right now, mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm like yeah I know you're right but like it's annoying there's, like there's, it's annoying it's nice to have that freedom though yeah yeah right and it doesn't feel like a personal thing like I don't mm -hmm. have beef with this guy mm -hmm. right he's a great guy he's a great guy. I also guy. just like being right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Just in general. <laughs> so having somebody who's like very like mm -hmm. gently and very considerately asking questions to the point where like I come to the conclusion where I'm mm -hmm. like, God damn it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess I'm not right. <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. Even that was like stressful. Wait, what was I talking about? You were talking about like the point when it happened. What point did you transition from therapy is forced onto me and I hate this mm -hmm. to I now need therapy. Mm -hmm. Even some days I'm like, I hate this. Of yeah. The hate exactly. doesn't change. It's yeah. just you realize the value of what you were given. Yeah. I uh I mean definitely like a gradient mm -hmm. more it was like coming coming out of college. Mm-hmm and like transitioning to that time i'd say like the real if i had to pick a moment in time it was sitting in the doctor's office in new hampshire and my doctor's like what is going on mm -hmm. what like why do you have this old person disease why is your blood pressure messed up mm -hmm. why is your skin so bad yeah like <laughs> why aren't you sleeping mm -hmm. like and having them just be like like I don't even know what's going on in your life, and I can tell you you're doing poorly right yeah. now. They can um, just see it. Yeah, right. Um, so I think that was really, if I had to pick a time then, but it was also, it was like kind of like, le as I was like leaving school and then being like, oh shit, now I'm imbued with all this responsibility for mm -hmm. taking care of myself. Ah, <laughs> Uh, did you ever get on the phone with your parents about it or did you just keep it to yourself yeah I definitely did um, yeah then uh, I did and then again as I kind of came to like three years ago mm -hmm. um, and also I mean that's another thing too that also like I guess about like my process I think I I should have kept a list I think I said like four specific concepts that have like been my process of therapy so far I mean hey man it's education but also like another yeah another one I mean especially before I was like 27 and there was a period when I still did like the Obamacare thing you can just mm -hmm. be on your parents health insurance mm -hmm. um, I was like okay I like I need this to happen and even having having and I, you know i was obviously a lot older now than when i was when i first did it and even having them just be like okay so here's lists the your insurance can work for any of these people mm -hmm. here are their specialties right yeah and then being like okay so like you can call these different people um and try to get involved with them like that was part of it too and um yeah I mean, even, even now, I was talking about like the, even like that like credit card like reimburse where mm -hmm. you have to like put one down and then mm -hmm. be like, That's okay, right. and then they reimburse that card, yeah. but it does get held mm -hmm. right, and then they release that money as soon yeah. as your insurance. It's like cool, we got it. He had, he does yeah. still have insurance, and they don't give you a time limit for how long that's gonna take. Yeah, yeah, right. And so I don't know, even like that's, yeah, like they let me put like their credit card down, 
for like that reimbursement thing where they're like, okay, fine. Like, and if it's, mm -hmm. sometimes insurance is just doing insurance things, right? And they're mm -hmm. stuck. And I'm like, all right, well, I don't necessarily want to just not have that money for like a month. Yeah. Right. Well, I wait it, for insurance really to pay it back. Thing. No, that really right? is the thing. Yeah. So even like had like that's something that like made access easier, mm -hmm. um, which I'm like definitely privileged to be able to have. And I just I don't know. I think they're when I think about how like difficult like my journey to therapy was. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah, a lot of it like a very significant part is a result of significant privilege too. Mm -hmm. And so like anything that can take that really steep on ramp and just lessen it for people like without that too, like in navigating the system and figuring out insurance and figuring out who's going to pay and figuring out what kind of therapy you want. And some people don't have the luxury to be like, okay, well I can't just go to five different therapists and schedule all these, well, I figure out what kind of therapy works for me. Like even mm -hmm. having somebody to talk that through um, is really important. Yeah. So like, I don't know. Yeah, like I love what you guys are doing because like it takes that steep on-ramp and just like makes it not that there's not a walk up but accessible yeah right like accessible instead of like all right well yeah i can walk up a ramp i can't climb a mountain right now i got yeah. too much going on yeah you know i think it's important to put people's stories